It's been about a week now since Mojang released the snapshot nerfing the mace and nerfing it very badly. And, well, this week we didn't see it changed at all. So, we're gonna talk about the nerfs and really what they mean for 1.21, or Tricky Trials as it has now been named, in general. Because it's a lot more important than you probably think. So, we're going to get into it now. So, like I said, last week we saw a f- massive nerfs to the mace. For starters, the base damage got reduced down from 7 to only f- 5. So, it went from being like a diamond sword in strength to being like a stone sword. That's, I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. I definitely think it should have at least been six to be on par with an iron but there's more um the damage increase from height also from what i can tell has been decreased as well once again so that's another major nerf to the mace itself and then also in terms of enchantments there was a massive massive nerf to Windburst, the special enchantment. Windburst was one that you had to go to the trial chambers and loot an ominous vault for, right? It's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be really good. You, It's supposed to be a motivation for you to do and take on ominous trials and find the trial chambers. So it should be really good. You know, like Riptide and Channeling and all of those crazy enchantments that are really overpowered or well if they're all overpowered they're not really overpowered just like wind burst it wasn't that it was fun and cool and it was pretty good because it would burst you up so you could get a good hit but you know then if you missed the hit you'd be like left wide open in pvp but Basically, it went from being bursting you upward with any hit to only bursting you upward if you've got a attack from a high space already. So, like, you would have had to have already fallen a long distance to get Wind Burst. Otherwise, it just does absolutely nothing at all. So, basically, you will only get the second attack if you're already falling from a really high distance which is just i mean what's even the point then if you're falling from a high distance that probably means you're gonna one hit whatever you're attacking it you see why i mean it's pointless virtually it just doesn't really make sense wind burst is definitely one that should be undone it should be set back to how it was before it's supposed to be a good special unique enchantment and now it's basically worthless it's it's nothing in 99 percent of scenarios it's going to do nothing at all now for the other nerfs there's definitely these need to not fully be undone because the nerf was a bit uh overpowered too much prior but what i want to add into the perspective here is that the mace is the feature of 1.21 like the feature it's the main thing you get from the trial chambers really the only unique functional loot that you can get from the trial chambers aside from the wind charge And the trial chambers are the entirety of the annual update. So that means the mace is the, like, entire reward of the update. So if you make the mace useless, you basically make the trial chambers next to useless. And in turn, make 1.21 a worthless update. Now the mace isn't quite worthless but it's now it's just not really a viable combat option as someone who's played a lot of pvp especially recently 
it's not, it's just not really something you can do. For starters, you would need to have wind charges, really, in your offhand, which takes away, of course, all of the other very useful things you could have in your offhand, like a shield, totem of undying, gapples. Offhand's really important. So you already need wind charges in there, so that already puts you at a disadvantage. But before, you could have wind burst and go up, but there was a catch. You would still take fall damage from the wind burst, which was balanced. It was fair. That made sense so that there was that risk-reward benefit that if you miss the attack, you're still going to take damage so that it's not just you can get unlimited high damage attacks if you're not like a extreme pvp pro you're gonna miss a shot or two especially when falling you it's a lot harder to hit shots so it made sense before now it just doesn't again in a fight on relatively flat land it's completely useless. There's absolutely no point in having it whatsoever now, especially if you don't have wind charges. It's it's really only good for like an assassination now if you want to jump from a really high height to try and hit someone, except you wouldn't do that because that's stupid because I'm sorry, but you could just use an anvil or pointed dripstone or a TNT minecart and not risk just falling to your death. So, I'm. do you see what I'm trying to say here? That the mace has virtually no use now, really. Aside from maybe a bit in single-player survival. It. It's just not good, really, but... What should be reverted exactly? Well, the dam base damage, as I mentioned, should be brought back at least up to 6, but definitely up to 7 in some way. Like, make it so that you can upgrade the mace with netherite or something, and that'll bring it up to 7. That would seem more than fair to me. And wind burst, the nerf should just be completely undone on that. That's... I'm sorry, that's just a pretty stupid nerf. It completely removes the point of the enchantment. It's never going to have use, except for like 1%, of, not even 1% of the time. Because again, if you're doing some big jump assassination, you're not going to need wind burst. What good is it even going to do you then? A second major attack, it won't do you anything. And as for the fall damage nerf, I honestly, that that could stay because there is density already to majorly buff the fall damage increase. So that is one nerf that I would be okay with staying. But it's definitely the wind burst nerf and the base damage nerf that really need to be undone the base damage may be not undone entirely, but to a degree, definitely. Otherwise, this it the mace won't be used like at all in pro combat, from what I can tell, unless maybe when combined with wind charges. But in a lot of multiplayer events, people won't even have access to wind charges anyway, so it just really doesn't have much purpose now it and if the mace doesn't have purpose 1.21 really doesn't have purpose other than wind charges and some new decorative blocks there's there's not much else really and that might change with the anniversary uh i'm making a video talking about the anniversary because that's coming up but i was Part of the reason I held off on doing this video until now was because I thought Mojang would probably revert at least some of the nerfs this week in a snapshot, and they didn't. The mace is still... It's kind of a joke of a weapon, to be honest. It, I know that sounds harsh, but it, 
it really is. And like, even if you have wind charges or wind burst, again, you're going to miss a lot of your attacks unless you are really, really skilled at aiming. So it just wasn't OP that much. It The only cases where it would be OP would be like with Elytra on the Ender Dragon or Warden. But again, that's single player world. That's not as much of a, as big of a deal because you have access to all of these other OP in quotation things anyway, so that there's so many ridiculously powerful things like end crystals that it's not really OP if everything's OP. But then in like PvP events, which is well off, people are complaining about the mace with now without wind burst, without wind charges, it's useless. It just is in this case now with all of these nerfs. It's completely useless. I'm sorry, but unless you get really high ground beforehand, it's not going to do you anything. And that's just kind of sad. But you also, because if you think about it, you won't have access to Elytra or wind charges and a lot of these things. It won't do much without any of that or a Riptide Trident. So that's really it. The At least some of these nerfs need to be undone. The Wind Burst absolutely should go back to how it was before. Otherwise, there's like no point in the enchantment even existing in the first place. Base damage should be brought back up closer to what it was before. And the fall damage increase, that that can stay. I It's not the end of the world if that stays. But that's just to conclude, wrap things up. This was a pretty opinionated video, but I hope you can see where I'm coming from with all of this. It I'm just trying to talk out of experience here. And I hope I presented that well. So if you made this far, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing or liking if you did enjoy. If you didn't, that's fine. Don't, whatever. But that is all I've got for you today. And goodbye.